I'm going to give you a recipe that I think will put a little bit of love and excitement and colour into your weekly cook. It's going to be a green rice dish, light and fluffy, full of flavour and the good stuff, loads of spinach. And then we're going to cook fish. And I want to give you a principle that you can use in your life in loads of different ways and you can get really creative. First up, a principle of cooking the perfect fluffy rice. A lot of people in the 25 years I've been doing TV and cooking um, have really struggled with sticky rice, overcooked rice, rice that's not very nice. So if you get a regular builder's mug here, uh, fill it with basmati rice and this will be enough for four people. Then grab the same mug. I'm just going to do this to kind of get you to visually understand what I'm trying to teach you here. This method of cooking rice is what I call the absorption method. So what does that mean? It means that in the time that this rice takes to cook, it will absorb exactly twice its volume in water and it will give you light, fluffy rice. So this rice will go into our pan. I'm now going to teach you how to turn regular fluffy rice into something extraordinary and exciting. So I'm taking one bag that you get from the supermarket, 100 grams of washed spinach, put that into a liquidizer. Spinach, great, it could be Swiss chard, it could be kale, uh, pick any greens that you love, it could be herbs, if you're in a real rush, it could just be like frozen peas and a bit of pesto, you know, use your fantasy, it's anything green. I'm gonna take a herb, I'm gonna use coriander today, steal a few just for garnish later, whole bunch goes in, whole bunch. Now it could be mint, it could be basil, right? So use your fantasy. Then I'm gonna take a whole bunch of spring onions, Take one for garnish later, whole bunch just goes in, right? It could not be easier. Then two cloves of garlic for that lovely perfume and gorgeousness, right? So easy, right? Really easy. You could do this midweek, no trouble at all. Then we're going to go in with our water and we're going to simply liquidise it. No dramas at all. So lid goes on, whiz it up. Beautiful colours. Easy, right? We're going to go over to our rice and we're going to boil this for five minutes, okay? Hard and fast. Get that rice cooking. Season it with salt and pepper and that's going to be beautiful. Give it a little stir. Look at that vivid green colour. It's telling you that it's good for you. Let's talk about fish. Cod or haddock to start off with. That's what's very common in Britain, but we should try and use some other fish. That is what I'd use for a portion. You can cut it in half. Um, this is for four people, this dish, all happening in one pan. Um, you can have fun with it. I've got here some clams, which is you know, fairly affordable. Um, you only need two or three, and they give off the most amazing stocks. Uh, you can throw in some prawns if you want, right? We've got a bit of squid. You're gonna cook something absolutely mind-blowing, but I want you to feel that you could do this for a dinner party and really do something flash. So look, it's green, it's bonkers, it's exciting, and it's delicious. So we're about five minutes in, so I'll give it one last little stir. Can you see how the rice is beautifully absorbing? Look at that. Come on, don't tell me that's not exciting. Now we go from high heat to a lower heat. I'm going to place, I've cut the fish, so it's going to cook more in kind of harmony with the prawns. You don't want to have that cooked and that overcooked. We want a harmony, right? So if you're ever worried, you can just cut the fish in half a little bit to let the fish in. So just use your common sense, okay? Lay the fish in, look at the colour. The rice being half cooked creates the perfect trivet for the fish. Kind of lay it out like a portion, right? Because you're gonna, and you can kind of snug it in there. Lay the prawn over the top. I put the clams right in to the rice. Why? Because um, they're gonna release the most amazing, stuck, delicious. Um, the squid, is delicate, I'm just gonna pop that on top. The legs are less delicate, so you can put them in the rice. And then all you have to do now is season, tiny bit of pepper, and then just a kiss of olive oil. Now, the lid goes on. We've turned it down about seven minutes, no more. So to go with this, I love rice with yogurt. I just don't know why it works really, like the kind of comforting 
Moorish flavours with the tangy and the kind of fresh and the cold. Love it. So let me show you the easiest way to kind of bring to life standard yoghurt. I'm using a Greek yoghurt, by the way. I'm going to have like four tablespoons of yoghurt there. Another little ingredient that I love is um, harissa. Fresh, cold, hot and fragrant. You take a little bit of this, two teaspoons let's say, and I'm just going to ripple it. Look at that. And that will be a wicked thing. A little drizzle of olive oil and that's just joyful. That lolloped on your plate. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, let's just talk finishing the dish. Like it, that, That's it. Minus the talking. That's the easiest prep. Lemons. Um, just cut them into little quarters. I've got some leaves of coriander here. Quite nice just to have that as a little sprinkle. And I saved back one spring onion, uh, again, as a little sprinkle. So, this is... Look, you can call it garnish, it's not, I mean, it is a garnish, but I think for me garnish is also about, you've got the cooked spring onions and coriander in that lovely green sauce. If you want to put a little bit of fresh chilli in as well. So this has had just under seven minutes, okay? So the heat goes off. Come and have a look. It is going to be delicious. The rice is cooked, the fish is pearly white and gorgeous. I think that is a celebration of the sea. Now, what I would do is sprinkle it with the spring onions and that little bit of chilli and a little bit of the coriander leaves, just to tell the story, but for texture as well. Go over with some lemon like this. Come on, you know, you know this makes sense, right? So this ooh, goes to the table. What a lovely thing. Imagine taking that to the table. Um, I think this is a gift of a recipe. Maybe a tiny kiss of olive oil. So let's just plate up a portion and then you can kind of bear me tasting it and telling you, like I know it's gonna be good. I'm gonna do it just for you, because I'm a professional. Yogurt and harissa. Okay, so bearing in mind, I haven't even put all of my portion in there. Look at that. That, my friends, is an exciting, easy, modern, contemporary plate of food. Right, I'm going to go rice first because I've got an urge. Oh. Now, if that doesn't get you excited about fish, I don't know what will. Take care.